Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Kyron Williams career simulation in Madden 24. Uh, yep, that would be the right one. So Kyron Williams here has recently taken over the starting job thanks to the Cam Akers release. He really didn't mesh well with the coaching staff and the team in general. It hasn't for a couple years now. It took him a long time to release them after thinking they could maybe patch things up. Stuff didn't end up working out in the long run of things. So they brought in Kyron Williams uh, last year out of Notre Dame. I don't remember what uh, round he was, but basically I, I liked him quite a bit and one thing that really makes me mad is one thing he did really well at notre dame was receive the football out of the backfield and he's only a 67 receiving back they have done this with rashawn johnson where he's like not a good receiving back in the game but he's pretty good in real life just different things like that but kyron williams will probably still uh get a lot of nice numbers up in madden and we'll look to see how his career path really uh really works out he's on this dynamic rams team with upcomer or up and comer puka nakua cooper cup and uh kyron williams matthew stafford uh might be on his way out here really soon not really the best of options at quarterback for a video game considering he is getting a little older let's get into it let's see how this uh pretty atrocious rams team could do i've already forced wins for the first six games for the rams um uh, based on what's happened in real life and so we'll go to midseason and see what uh, other stuff can happen because I think it goes up midseason is basically week eight and we've only seen six weeks in real life so I've got those six games all simmed or uh, forced in the game and then we'll just sim the next two they are three and four to start the season so yeah we go up to week eight so week seven was the only one that wasn't forced so obviously they won against the Seahawks in week one went on a two game losing streak beat the Colts and then lost to the Eagles beat the Cardinals most recently and then in game this is the only one up to simulation and the Pittsburgh Steelers won by 21 points the stats and awards on the season matthew stafford's doing meh not great rushing kyron williams actually doing really well 3.8 per carry at 72 overall or whatever he's at is very good in the game normally it takes quite a while to see numbers like that receiving puka actually taking over cooper cup not really getting too much work i'll try to sort that out i don't know what this is really all about but puka getting a lot of the work and kyron is actually catching the ball quite often out of the backfield we'll see how that translates through the rest of the season but like i said i'll try to fix the whole cooper cup puka situation going on where cooper's really not getting used wow rams flip their season around and blow their chance out a really good draft pick going nine and eight what a way to turn your season around matthew stafford very conservative never mind not even uh just closing up on 3500 yards 23 touchdowns so only 11 interceptions rushing kyron williams finished the season over a thousand that's all you can ask is someone of his caliber he was really really good at 3.7 per carry six touchdowns and i only look for that to increase puka does finish over a thousand and cooper I, I don't know what like I, I really don't know what's going on there i don't know really how to fix it but kyron williams out of the backfield uh catching the ball was quite efficient too had a touchdown funny enough kyron williams has an upgrade here he's playing down to a 72 what could he use he could really use different like stuff with elusiveness but i would like to see him become a better receiving back and the auto upgrades will already upgrade elusive back for him so we'll just do that and he should have a pretty good he's all right i guess i guess that's fine he's also been a pretty Pretty good run blocker if i am remembering the right guy can the los angeles rams beat the dallas cowgirls in the wild card i highly doubt it we do lose by uh, 21 seems to be the number that we keep losing by let's go to next season see what's up with the team see what's changed uh maybe matt stafford's not here see how much kyron williams has progressed if he gets star dev it's just a bunch of things to check up on oh also i forgot to mention how good he was in the last game that he played was it against the cardinals uh against one of the bad run defense teams but 20 rushes about 156 yards and a touchdown and i I watched uh, some of that game on nfl red zone and he looked so good man um kept those legs churning just overall like surprised me he was, he was just really really good okay that's just disrespectful they brought in dalvin cook they drafted a running back what the f uh, why dude why that's very frustrating but I'm still just going to start Kyron over both of them. Man, like that actually stinks. That's, that's, that's like the worst case scenario here. I'm just trying to make him the guy, you know, and the game doesn't like that. Although Colvin is a power back. So I guess that's good. He is a 76 overall power back. He actually looks so good. Oh my God. And obviously everyone knows how good Dalvin Cook is, but Kyron Williams will be, um, the premier guy he's just been too good he will take the rain it's gonna yeah uh as a as a, a madden franchise player it eternally sucks to start kyron over two very qualified candidates that are much better than he is with ceilings much higher than he is in just a one season thing like a one season basis and overall career basis with that colvin power back that looks insane yeah he would be typically very very good 
if he didn't have a Kyron Williams starting in front of him. So let's go to midseason, see what Kyron Williams and the rest of this offense is cooking up. Ooh, what a start to the season. Two and five. Yikes. Matthew Stafford actually fifth in the league in passing yards, 1,765 yards, uh, 14 touchdowns, and a lot of interceptions. Rushing, Kyron is actually running horribly. And yet you see Victor Colvin and Dalvin Cook almost five yards per carry and 4.3. And then here's Kyron Williams at 3.2. There we go. Cooper Cup, 43 receptions, 744 yards. I'd say that's uh, that's pretty good numbers. We finished the season 6 and 11. Obviously not great after having a better season last year, making the playoffs. But Matthew Stafford, 4,119 yards, 30 touchdowns, only 14 interceptions. Rushing Kyron Williams over 1,000 yards. Yards, but at what cost, man? Colvin and Dalvin Cook kind of came back down to the ground here, though. Um, almost four yards of carry in 4.2, which is still much better than 3.3 but they did actually end up getting worse over the course of the season, so that's good. Cooper Cup, almost 1,700 yards on the season, and Puka really not. Like, there's no balance here. I, I can't I can't balance the two out. We have a new 74 overall quarterback, and Kyron Williams can't go up to the starting. Blah, 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 blah. Hang on. Let's give it a second. There we go. Kyron Williams is your starting running back. Got a new left tackle in there, Jackson. Um, I guess we'll have to do it right tackle. Still a pretty bad offensive line, all things considered. Avila is developing fine. And I would like Colvin here. I, I don't I don't like this at all. I hate seeing like these two behind. Uh Kyron Williams, of all people. On the defensive side of things, nothing's really gotten better. You br bring in like two people that look good, and you are very strong at outside linebacker for whatever reason. So we'll see how this new look uh Rams team can do. And this is, I believe, Kyron Williams last year. I will go check his contract, actually. Contract. So, yeah, this is his last year. I had strongly advised him to get the frick out of Los Angeles. Go somewhere else where he might be more of a quote-unquote premier option. I mean, you got only Dalvin Cook here. He's going to be here for maybe this last year before he retires or just this contract's dead and then colvin will i mean should be a, a much higher overall to this point but he hasn't been starting so kyron williams last year in los angeles hopefully if he stays around um I, it's it's bad wow same start as last year i believe right and breakout running back imagine this isn't for kyron williams coach our rushing attack was great last week and i think kyron williams was a big reason why i was really impressed with him blah blah blah, blah. if he can go over 100 yards this next game he can get star development which would actually be huge so um we'll, we'll see what we can do to make that happen uh, nothing the only thing i could probably do is just go back or go into the game and rush for 100 plus yards myself uh cam donaldson the new quarterback taking over fine in the passing yards department but i'd like to see a little bit more production out of him touchdown wise kyron williams has actually been pretty good this year at 3.6 per carry and i'm guessing someone else is snagging some of his carries because he's not getting nearly enough yards receiving um yeah this can't happen no what why dude madden oh my god madden can really push your buttons sometimes and a lot of it has to do with playbook the dude that's getting all the yards is a 69 overall probably like a 70 in reality because he's playing down for morale but dude what like explain that to me and he's not even playing in the slot I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Tell with it. To the end of the season, we go. We finished seven and 10, which puts us in a bad spot for the playoffs and a bad spot for the draft. So it's a lose lose situation. Donaldson was fine rushing kyron williams was fine in yards per carry aspect of the the year but nothing else really was amazing as victor colin snuck um yeah one more touchdown and 50 carries so I, I don't know they just know that he's better and they're gonna go to him puka and cooper cup finish you know towards the top cooper with just 57 receptions goes for a thousand plus yards that's 18.2 yards <laughs> per reception on average with 15 touchdowns that's just clinically insane all right will kyron williams go to a new team or re-sign with the rams we are going to see here in just a second moment of truth and no more kyron williams which actually i'm very pleased to say that that is amazing news but he can still land in a bad situation. That's something to remember. So as we go down looking for our guy, who we might come up on here very soon, looking for Mr. Kyron Williams, who we still have not found. We're going to continue looking. We, we had to pass him, right? Like, he's not a 74 overall. Oh my God, has Kyron Williams retired? I'm going team by team now looking for Kyron Williams because 
I refuse to believe this man has retired. And I have injuries off, so it's not like he could just be on IR somewhere or something like that that would take him off any of these lists. I legitimately haven't come across to Kyron Williams. I've legitimately been through the whole league, every single team looking for Kyron freaking Williams, but he is nowhere to be found. Kyron Williams has retired from the league, so bye-bye Kyron. Well, I guess that'll do it for the Kyron Williams career simulation. Uh, like I said, bye-bye Kyron, and... uh yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. I guess leave a like, go down and subscribe, go watch any of the past content on the channel, and that'll be all for me. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, deuces, I guess. What are they, what?